Hello and welcome to Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone. Hearts of Stone is the, was the first expansion pack for Witcher 3. And this series is a continuation of my Witcher 3 playthrough that I just finished. And this series will be all Hearts of Stone. Some of the Hearts of Stone missions I did in my Witcher 3 play, playthrough. Some of that was inadvertent and some was on purpose. There was a mission for the Rune Rites that I did early on in my playthrough. So we'll not be doing too much with the Rune Rites in this playthrough. Uh, we, we will be seeing them occasionally though for selling items and if I choose to make some more swords we'll definitely go see them to add slots to our weaponry and whatnot. Uh, this DLC takes place mostly over on the eastern edge of the map east of Novigrad and we are gonna go in this episode we are going to go start the very first story mission Evil's Soft First Touches is what I think it's called and if you're new to this series uh, my Witcher 3 my Witcher 3 playthrough series then you're probably wondering why am I wearing this armor because it's like the first armor you get in the game well it's because my playthrough is with the early game gear part of this is because I find that uh, the, get the armor and weapons you get in the game are very powerful and by the end of the game it is not much of a challenge so I decided to do a playthrough all with the early gear so I'm using the viper swords that you get in white orchard very early on um, you can see that I have added rune stones to them or not rune stones but slots and then added rune stones to make them more powerful because they do very little damage and uh, the ones I'm going with right now for silver I'm using the burning burning rune stones and for my steel I'm using poison I find that works has been working very well I'll be probably making more of these swords as the game goes on you know if I have to make a sword for a specific enemy I definitely will but I will only ever make the viper the early level viper swords as for my armor, I'm wearing the Warrior's Leather's Jacket, which is the one, it's been upgraded once from the Kaer Morin Armor, which is the starting gear. I've added uh, three slots and given it the Levity Enchantment because I want to, I've, I've made my character a critical hit build, and with light armor you get critical hit damage bonuses. And I've also added slots to all my other gear and right now I have Quen, Greater Glyph of Quen in all of them. Now that I could take them out and change them if I wanted to like upgrade to Yurden or Igni I could do that. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave Quen in there for now. Uh, I don't use a lot of magic in this with this build. It's mostly fast attack and uh, dependent on critical hits. As you can see, I got one slot in my hunting boots as well with the, a greater glyph of Quinn. And then in my trousers, two slots and uh, two greater glyph of Quinns. So we got four gr greater glyph of Quinns going on. And I think it's pretty useful, although most of the time I would say my Quinn breaks after one hit. So I have been thinking about changing them for maybe something a little more useful. As for my build, I'm going with a mostly alchemical build. I have invested one tier in all uh, fast attack stuff and uh, muscle memory, resolve, anything to drive up my adrenaline point gain. Because the more adrenaline points you have, the more critical hits you do and therefore the more damage. And resolve, yeah, adrenaline point loss when taking damage. So if you get hit, you don't lose as many adrenaline points. The precise blows is the second level of the fast attack. Uh, it increases the damage for critical hits and the chance of critical hits. 
Also increases adrenaline point gain. Battle Frenzy here. Now Battle Trance, instead of uh, this ability, instead of Battle Trance making your... Uh, Battle Trance making your adrenaline point loss lower. It makes your critical hits uh, better. More of a chance for a critical hit. And then this is the cat for light piece of armor, the cat school techniques. That's why I went le with levity for my, my armor. Because now I have uh, four pieces of armor and it increases all my critical hits by 25%. So that's and fa and the fast attack damage. So that's why I went with those because I'm looking for the critical hit damage. And then uh, the rest is all uh, alchemy. This is vitality boost uh, when you consume a mutagen. And I do use a lot of mutagens, mostly the critical hit ones, like the Catacan and the Doppler. The Doppler mutagen are both very useful for critical hits. Synergy increases the bonus for mutagens placed in the mutagen slot by 50%. I did this because I wanted more attack power and vitality. And so you can see my attack power is up by like 75% with that. I just took the pyrotechnics uh, recently because I was having trouble with spiders and the bombs uh, I wanted to use my bombs more and so that increased my bomb ability protective coating for critical hits against uh, the type of enemy you're facing poison blades uh, poisoning your enemy and then the heightened tolerance and the acquired tolerance just boost up my level of uh, toxicity so I can take more potions and mutagens okay so let's head out to where we need to go to begin the very first mission of this expansion pack. It's at the estate of some guy named uh, Van, o Van Olgreed. I have played this DLC once a time before. And uh, I, so I'll remember some things, but a lot of it, uh, it's been a couple years. So let's go out to this, let's see, Van... Von Everick, I'm sorry, Von Everick Estate. Faster. All right, let's go. New marker, the Garen Estate. And this is where we're going. There's a little bridge here to go over to the estate. And I see some Not people. So fast, Roach. Let's go on up in here and see what's going on. See if there's anyone to talk to. Bunch of people all around. Wild one. Cool haircut. There's a lot of them around here. They're all, or so far, they're all called Wild One. Must be the name of their group or whatever. They all get similar haircuts, looks like. Hmm. This. Oh, that person's sleeping. Cutscene. Hi, mate! Your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geert von Everick. Ah, that'll be inside. Olgerd von Everick. I'm looking for him. None here by that name. Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. 
and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. I was told I'd find Olgierd von Everek here. Someone's made an ass of you, brother. <laughs> so maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Olgierd. Tell me. What brings you here? No, no, I'm all geared. You? Not likely. I'm all geared. <laughs> <laughs> you folk are a hoot and all, and I'd love to stay for more laughs, but time's short. Whoa, shit just got serious. Hear about the monster in the sewers. Seems old geared von Everex offered a bounty on it. Shit was serious from the start. Goes without saying with a witcher. How's that? The purge, you lot of emotion. It's why you're all stiff. Hey! You think they shoved the long pike up your ass? <laughs> 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 all right, Master Witcher. Jests are done. Whether the good bit as it is, I'm impressed. Come on, I'll take you to Old Geard. What do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. I definitely want to loot as much of this place as I can before I... before I go talk to Old Geard. There is stuff to be looted. Mugs and vials, probably some booze. Any booze around? Oh yeah. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I missed one. Come back. Come on, booze. What you got? Oh yeah. Booze. And then looks like out here is that must be the way I came in. Yes. Let's make sure we get everything. Just go check this other door over here. Take one down, pass her around. barrels of rum on the wall. Here's some more stuff to loot. Vile boo lock door. That'd be a good time. What do you oh, say? There's some stuff here. Alcohol. Cozy up to empty. Books. Ah, you drunk. Um, Go on, you that's sons. it for this room. Over here we got uh looks like a little kitchen, shed area. Actually not a kitchen, more like a shed. Here's the kitchen. And then over here, just a bunch of booze that I can't loot. And I think that might be everything for this floor. Could check out that drawing. Looks like a frog or something. I'm throwing knives at it. All right, take me to Olgierd, please. Once you meet Olgierd, try and pique his interest. Cheers. Personally, I liked getting good and bollocksed. I gotta pique his interest. He's the one wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you want this job? You gotta grab his attention. And he's one to get bored mighty quick. <laughs> Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? Um. Hmm. It's okay. I don't know who this Gernst person is, but maybe, uh... I don't know if there's the right answer. Frankly, gotta say I prefer the work of Pax Gernst. Ah, the Kaviri school. 
Are you an Oxenfurt man? No. Know some folk who graduated from there, though. Ooh. I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman all geared. Long may he live. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Come and drink with us. Well, we haven't a choice now. Fetch us some wine, dear, and a nibble or two. This some special occasion, or just feel like feasting? Every occasion's special. Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new sabre. I've hit on a name for her! Fair Saber, I dub thee Traditiana! <laughs> Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Ooh. The way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Nay. She went to a fair with a sister or cousin, matters not. Daff wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the oxen fur sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince and will wade knee deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. Hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the lord of the manor's daughter? <laughs> Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. All right. Geralt. You all right? Olgierd von Everick. Seek something, and so now I'm guessing that's the beast right there in the wall they were f throwing knives at. And now in Ox. Oh, another cutscene. Hey, you! Puss papers! Name's Geralt. But I'm gonna call you Puss papers. That problem. Get to the point. Got an offer. Potentially lucrative, puss peepers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it. Then cut the bugger's head off. Why not avenge him yourself? Seems like you all relish swinging your sabers. Aye, we do. And if I knew who'd axed Clivert, I'd have gutted him ages ago. Thing is, I don't. But you see a lot with them puss papers. You'll track him down. Keep talking. Clivert dealt fist tech. A few days past, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? Actually seen his corpse? No, but Cliver was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. 
Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. Clivert's got a scar on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Said I'd think about it. Know what, Puss Peets? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look for me in Oxenfurt. The Alchemy Inn on the main square. Rose on a red field. Okay. So now we got a couple missions from this place. Both of them are gonna invo involve Oxenfurt in some way. The sewers in Oxenfurt to kill the beast, and then after we find her friend's murderer, we have to meet her in Oxenfurt at the bar or someplace near there. Is what I is what I gather. All right, and here we are in Oxenfurt. We're gonna go look for that beast first. Yes. And looks like we have to go down the sewers with the Novigrad Gate. Let's go in here and see if we can find a way down into the sewers. Or if we have to like talk to someone to get down there or what do we got to do. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Yes. Terrible beast prowls the sewers down that way. Festival it's raining Looks like uh, this is how we get down. I'm not exactly sure it was here before, but it was probably covered up before this mission. But now we can get down there. There's a ladder and everything. Okay, quest updated. Now we just gotta search the sewers with our Witcher senses. And a torch would probably be good too. Let's see. Make sure we get and find all the things. All the mushrooms. All the crafting supplies. Oop, there's some red. There's some red Witcher uh, footprints or something there. We'll do that after. Let me just check over here. A chest with some specter dust. Okay. So now let's follow these witcher these tracks with our witcher senses. Oh, we have a drowner. Hi drowner. Level 30. Better get our necrophage oil. And I know I have a boss battle coming up and I'm a little leery of taking a, a little leery of taking the uh, decoctions yet because uh, sometimes after like a cutscene or whatever, they disappear. So I'm gonna hold off on my decoctions until until I'm fighting the boss. I think they may have fixed that bug actually, where the decoctions will disappear after a cutscene, but. I'm not absolutely sure. I don't think I'm going to need a lot of decoctions right now anyway, just to fight a drowner or two. Thanks for the brain and the tongue. And there's loot. Oh, and a dead, uh... Looks like a drowned dead. Slash wounds made by a blade. No monster did this. Okay, so something killed that one. And it wasn't a monster. It was a, uh... Someone with a, with a weapon. There's a chest. Nice. Get all the mushrooms because they're delicious. Nope, here comes here's the uh, footprints. 
boot prints. Large. A man's most likely. Hmm. Thought only women came looking for the cursed prints. Hmm. And there's some more. Ah, a woman's prints alongside. Single set. She came alone. Now, I just want to make sure I get everything in this room. I don't think I've been in this area yet. Alright, a bunch of mushrooms. Um, can't get up there. Box with some soap and a cutscene. Thanks, Geralt. Ah, Shani. Haven't seen her since Witcher 1. My very favoritist romance option in all the Witcher games. Shani is a badass. She's a healer. She can fight. She's cool. She's kind. She's got red hair. What is there to not like about Shani? Yes. She wears sexy yes. sleepwear. I brought some liquor. Just limps killer along, parties. Looking down, awful frown, crying. She doesn't take any we crap from so any stupid scoyatelle bursting treason. into her hospital. How illogical and contrary to our interests. Out of my hospital. Murder each other to your heart's content in the street, but don't show your faces here. Oh yes, I've missed you, Shiny. You're the best. Good to see you again. It's, uh, good to see you. You too. Lost track of you after I left Vizima. Where'd you go? What have you been doing? Um, long story short, I've been treating the sick and wounded as always, mainly at my clinic in Oxenfurt. But in Redania, I'm called on to help the army at times as well. I'll want to hear the long story long too. Sure. But uh, once we're out of these sewers... Redanian army forced you to come here too? Were you just down here for a pleasant stroll? Got our orders this morning. I came down here with a whole unit, but something attacked us. What attacked you? Get a good look at it? No. I started running as soon as it appeared. It was huge. Spat venom and made these slurping sounds. That's all I know. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a major necrophage or a pack of drowners. No. This was one thing. Big, but one. Somebody threw a torch at it. Monster couldn't have cared less. All right. Not afraid of fire. Good to know. The soldier. He's someone important to you? His name was Nalls. Supposed to go on leave next week. Now he won't. Nor will the rest of his unit. How many were they? A whole squad. Six brave boys. All dead. Uh, Alright, well, let's see what she's doing down here. What they're all doing down here. Probably here to kill the, the beast. Why'd they send you down here? Only if it's not confidential, of course. I need a venom sample. From the beast that prowls these sewers. It doesn't just kill those who come down here, you know. The water in so many wells is contaminated. Folk are getting ill. Rudanian soldiers among them. Plan to kill the beast. Bring you a sample of its venom after I do. Nice of you to offer. But I'd rather go with you. Collect the sample myself. 
creature's dangerous. You saw what it can do. I'm a big girl, Geralt. I can take care of myself. And you know I'll get my way, so don't try and talk me out of anything. <sighs> Fine. Your choice. So show me where the monster attacked you. This way. All right. Let's follow Shiny. Large struck it with a lot of momentum. I shut it as I fled. The monster must have slammed into it. Glad it held up. Though now we need to find a way around it. Is it worth searching outside? Actually, just hoping the monster's blow weakened one of the walls. Also, we want to make sure we get all the loot. Let me take a. Let me just run around in here. I just want to make sure I got everything before we go the way we're supposed to go. Yeah, see, there's stuff I haven't got. Make sure we get it all. It's probably nothing, but I want to get all the things. Including delicious mushrooms. Alright, I checked all around and got all the things I could get. So now let's... Looks like there's a wall here we can bust through. Creature smashed that gate pretty good and loosened this wall up. And I knocked the wall down even though I was facing the wrong way. So that's good. Let's see what Careful. we got in here. Monster might still be here. Hmm. Check all around, make sure we get all the things. Alright, a little bit of loot there. And then let's see, we got some more loot here and some disgusting venom or something on the wall. And over there is a torch. And there's some loot and a dead drowner. That had some good loot in it. What about this drowner? Slash wounds made by a blade. Uh -huh. No monster did this. Just like the one upstairs or in the other room. That was probably done by the soldiers. Yeah, here's a soldier right here. They killed a bunch of drowners, but then this, the big sewer monster killed all the soldiers. Alright. Looks like we got everything I think. Let's go over where this torch is. See what the deal is with that. Soldiers from your escort? Yes. That's them. Vern. Miklas. Oh, poor boys. Beast doesn't play around, apparently. They saved my life. Let's see, you friends with them? That sounds, that seems like a kind of a douchey thing to say, but I do want to know all the dialogue options, so. Know them well. Him, I met this morning, but Vern and I served together at the Battle of Dorian. Miklas only enlisted this Yule. Sorry. Once you kill this beast, we'll have to send someone down here to collect their bodies. Give them a proper burial. All right, Gerald, that wasn't that bad. I expected you to be more good about happened? that. What happened? We came in here and Nicholas started looking for tracks. Then drowners attacked. The men made quick work of them. But Franz was injured. His leg. He and I stayed behind. I tried to bandage him up while Nalls stood watch. Then that beast appeared. Nalls pushed me towards the exit and ran at the monster. I turned around and saw him lying there, covered in a sticky substance. I ran back to get him, then dragged him to where you found us. Where was the monster? Well, Miklas and Vern had driven it away from us, and paid dearly for it. Managed to get a look at what attacked you? Everything happened so fast. I didn't get a good look, no. Only saw it from behind. I know it was large and... Slimy. Gross. Let's look around. Gotta look around. Man you patched up. Is he here? Franz? I don't see him. Think the monster might have dragged him off? Could have. Hmm. Be 
beast probably crawled in or out through here. It's deep. Lower level of the sewers has been closed off for years. But Vern, the commander, had a skeleton key. See if I can't find it. Alright, I guess that's probably too big of a drop for us to jump down there. So we need to look around for a key. And I think there was a door earlier that I couldn't open. And maybe I'll be able to open it with a skeleton key. Got the key. Good. Let's get going. He also had a note on him. Redanian Army Orders. Order 15-48E246. Issued by Albert Hockenhole. Captain Vern Palak and his unit shall enter the Oxford sewers where they shall escort field medic Shani on her mission to gather a sample of the venom spewed by the creature which dwells there and has been poisoning our water supply. If possible, they are ordered to kill said creature. Okay. So now we have the key, and I'm no I know there's one door back here that was locked. So let's go see if that's where we have to go. It probably is. Right here. Yep. Okay. Yes, there's a bunch of things down below me. I bet they're drowners. Oof, there's a ton of them. There's another dead person over there. And some more loot. Make sure we get all this stuff before we head down there. Ooh, nice. What else you got? Horse hide. And a bunch of loot in here as well. Very good. Another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse, found a hideous death instead. Ah. Uh, all right. Let's go down here. See what's going on. What's down here? More dead... Oh, yes. Drowners. And another dead lady. Oh. Hopefully we can do these drowners one at a time. Doesn't look like Shiny fights in this version of The Witcher. She used to wield a dagger in Witcher 1. She's pretty good at it. Doesn't matter. I still think she's the best. Let's put some, uh, let's see, let's find a good, uh, some good stuff to use. The black blood should damage them, right? If I, they hurt, if they hurt me, does it even work? I don't even know. Could use the catechin to put the caution. I think we probably should because hopefully I'll get a chance to, uh, meditate before the boss battle. And then I'll just replenish those, those potions. This drown is all by himself, which is helpful. Alright. We're just gonna start picking off these drowners one by one, I think. We've killed a few drowners. Now before we go deeper, I just want to check this area out. Body's basically intact. Just half covered in slime. Hope the wretch didn't suffer. Alright. Let's just look around here, make sure we get all the things. Here's another torch. There's a little passageway in there, and there's some a letter. Woman's corpse, soaked in slime. Beast must have left it for later. There's a letter here. Sodden letter. Ronnie, believe it or not, folks are saying there's a prince cursed into a toad wandering into Oxenfurt sewers. I know, I know, sounds like a fairy tale, but Suze from Hillop swears it's the gospel truth, and Mary Heathers confirmed it. 
Both say this prince comes from a far off land to court some countess, but her jealous lover grew furious and, since he was a wizard, turned the prince into a toad. They say if any lass finds the toad and kisses its froggy lips, it'll turn from a slimy beast back into a handsome prince. And then it's clear what will happen. Prince like that, no, vi no village hut lush, he's sure to be honorable and worthy and take whoever rescues him from his bride. So, Ronnie, next time you're in Oxenford at market, take a stroll into the sewers, I'm telling you. Who knows, maybe you'll walk out of them, pr out of them a prince's betrothed, your friend, Adel Adelbertha. That is some lousy advice, Adelbertha. Alright, well let's keep looking around, there's lots of loot here. Nice. Mushrooms, okay. That's a dead end, it looks like. What we got going on over here, Shiny? There's a few passages. More mushrooms. There's a passage down there. There's some loot here. Dead drowner parts. Flowers. A bag of stuff. I'm not sure which way is the right way to go. There's three drowners in that direction, or I assume they're drowners. There's some more dead people here Poor in the walls. Must have come here hoping to find her prince. Another dead person down here. Redanian soldier. Came down to hunt the beast alone, maybe. Fool. Got a barrel with some dark iron ore in it. Ooh, there's a... Uh, there's a room full of poisonous gas over there. And there's a drowner uh, coming at us. Move. Two drowners. Three drowners. I thought I saw one. Yeah, there is one more in there. What's going on, Drowner? Alright, this Drowner is just about dead. One more hit or two more hits should do it. If I can hit it, the Drowner. There we go. Hideous creatures. You all right? Mm, fine. Look, it's bronze. What's left of him, you mean? What kind of beast would do that? Mm, a lot of flowers. Does that mean anything? Well, means our monster doesn't attack them. Seems they get along with whatever's prowling the sewers. Some kind of symbiosis. Hmm. Interesting. What? Franz had a leg wound, right? Mm-hmm. Just above the knee. Managed to apply anything to it? Yes. Some spirit, but that was it. Why do you ask? Look, half of Franz's leg is gone. Monster must have chewed it off. Other bodies were untouched, except for the wounds they sustained in battle. Are you suggesting the beast likes alcohol? Mm-hmm. Mixed with blood. Doubt we'll learn anything else here. We need to find the lair. Right behind you. Okay. 
Let's keep looking around here. Mm, odd smell. Blend of alcohol, blood, and monster stench. Must have come through here. And I think I saw a trail, a, a scent trail. Another That's probably the trail we'll take. find to, to, to get to the monster's lair. A hideous death instead. <laughs> yeah, right here. So following that will probably take us to the Shut lair. Oop, we got some more drowners. There's some more dead drowners. I know there's at least a few more. Let's see. Make sure we get all the drops before we continue further. Nice. That's good loot. In here, there's more loot. Nice. Okay. Nope. Woman's corpse soaked in slime. Beast must have left it for later. Alright. In that room ahead of us is the room with all the poisonous gas. I think it's flammable too. But the trail goes the other way. So let's make sure we'll go we'll go the way of the trail last because that's the way we're supposed to go. And we'll make sure we get all the other stuff first to make sure we don't miss anything. A lot of good loot in this area. Rune stones, dust, very valuable. Looked like there's a bunch of uh, another unfortunate romantic. A bunch of drowners left. Prince's curse found a hideous death instead. What is that on the wall? Can I examine it? Yes. Loads of slime here. Enough for your sample? It'd be more than enough if it wasn't contaminated. Ah, uh, that ain't gonna do. She needs a cleaner sample. There's some more. Shani, can you get your sample here? Sure, along with a bunch of dirt, rubble, and drowner droppings. I need a clean sample from the lair. That'd be best. All right, so she needs to actually go to the lair. Makes sense. Um, mushrooms. Let's see. The trail goes that way. There's also a door over here. Let's check in here. Shani, can you get your oh, sample here? Same thing. Sure. Along with a bunch of dirt, rubble, and drowner droppings, I need a clean sample from the lair. That would be best. Shotty, watch oh. out! <laughs> A couple more dead drowners. Let's keep looking around. That's just more contaminated samples. Another dead body. Another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse. Found a hideous death instead. I might have seen her already, but I don't know. There's loot down here, so I probably haven't been in this area. She just has the same exact like uh, explanation when you examine her as all. Poor woman. She tried to get out. Futile effort. No. There's a lot of dead people down here, that's for sure. And then this way we got a chest and some mushrooms. Wow. Nice. Don't forget the mushrooms. Alright, very good. Alright, down here we got some more loot. Nice, and a door, and a chest. Ooh, a sword. Let's check out this sword. Ginveil, plus 44 armor piercing. Also a good chance to poison, and it increases your Yurden sign by 12%. It's a pretty good sword. Silver, 
It's already got three slots. I like that sword. I would totally use that if I was playing with a different rule set. But this Geralt only uses the early game armor and the early game weapon. Sorry, Ginvale. I will sell you, though, and make quite a bit of money. All right, let's see through the, what's through this door. Dead drowners everywhere. Strange. Seems the monster tolerated them. As long as they don't get too close, I guess. Lair's got to be nearby. All right, so the lair's through this area. We still haven't checked out that room with all the poisonous gas in it, so let's go back there real quick. Make sure we see what's going on in all the rooms. Here's the the scent, which I expected would be the way I would have to go to follow. It turns out it's maybe something else. We'll check that in just a second. Meanwhile, we're getting all the drowner brains. I think over here is the room. There's more drowners in there. Yeah. So watch out! Move. Definitely not going to go in there with a lit torch. I can see another drowner in there. All right. Hopefully, that's the last of the drowners. We'll see. Let's get their drops, and let's go check out that room out here with all the poisonous gas in it. There's some dead people and some loot in here. I can see that. I'm going to take a golden oriole so that I can just walk around in here and regain my health and not have to worry about being poisoned. Stay out here, Shiny. I don't know if... This a woman must have come here hoping to find her prince. I can't pull my torch out because, uh, and Shiny, I guess, can just walk into poison, no problem. <laughs> kind of dark. If I pull my uh, torch out, though, the gas is going to get all flammable and explode. So. Strange. No visible wounds. Definitely don't want Got that. Exhaustion trying to escape. Terrible way to go. There's some loot in here. Ooh. Nice. I think I should probably take a cat potion. That way we can see better. Superior cat. Alright, now we can see. I'm not going to take my torch out. <laughs> Make sure we get all the things. Dried fish. Mushrooms. Anything else? Um, dead end. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we're going to go fight the Frog Prince. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, that goes well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.